then yeah, well like if we're not authenticated, then like we're gonna return false because we can't do anything. Otherwise, we're going to want to kick off our So we want to go to like login flow success, like start discover service. Um, so we're going to want to call get service info ex, or are we going to call get connection information ex? Yeah, I think it's this guy. So we've got like our service host. We probably want to just go ahead and do the whole login flow again though. Yeah, so start discover service is what we want to do. Okay, so if we do start discover service, it's going to get to service info ex. Um, so service discover callback and then it's going to do get connection information connection info callback create TCP connection with all these things so if create TCP connection so if TCP client does not equal null pointer let's do like if M TCP clients is awaiting reauthorization then we're just gonna call this like um, enable security and MTCP client uh, like set host host and uh, MTCP client set port to port All right, so TCP client um, is awaiting reauth. We'll need to implement that function. So if we're awaiting encryption keys, then we'll do that. So if we're awaiting reauth, set the host, do that, enable security, and it'll just go do its thing. Otherwise, um, we'll do all the rest of this crap. And I guess we should also do and uh, security code does not equal null pointer and secret key does not equal null pointer and padding does not equal null pointer. So we've got all that rolling around. So set host, set ports, ports and then um, enable the security, and uh, that should do it. All right. So supposedly that'll do what it can. So do we ever call can possibly connect network tick? So if connected and can possibly connect is false, we'll destroy the connection. Um, All right, so if awaiting encryption keys, uh, we'll just return true for like we can. Yeah, we could possibly connect. So I think that'll do what it can with what we've got. Um, so the problem that we had before was with the, when we dropped our TCP connection, we would no longer have the auth stuff set up. Um, so after we finish the... Yeah, this is not the whole um, connection flow though. So we write our public key, that's true, but that just encrypts our connection. That doesn't actually set up our identity on the connection. So...
All right, so we do start discover service, um, which is going to call get service info, discover callback. We'll get that uh, get connection info callback. We then create our TCP connection. All right, so our TCP client is going to do its thing, and once it's connected. Enable security, um, redeemed encryption keys. We did set that to false. Yeah, we set that to false. Okay, so we'll connect. So if we are connected, if we have redeemed our encryption keys, um, All right, so we dropped it, so we're not connected. If the socket is null pointer. Okay, so we're fine. All right, we'll, we'll be okay for this. So we're going to write our security stream and then we will call back on connect. So on connect is going to, should prompt login is false, connection state is Connected connection errors in a row. We should kick off our identify and bind here. Okay. So we're, then we do our identify with our auth token. Come on, Vizio. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Really, Vizio? I was just trying to zoom out. Apparently, that's too fucking difficult. Look at that shit. All right, so this will be our TCP on connect, connect callback, and that's going to kick off our identify. That's going to be on the service. So this is the base TCP identify. And this is going to have our auth token. So this is like our actual, this is our actual identify. And what that'll do is on identify callback, we'll say we are bound, everything is fine, and um, everything is great. So on login success will be called with our login callbacks. And that comes back and that's going to do so callback. That's going to call the platform manager on login success. So the question is, with these auth tokens, how long are we actually keeping them around, and is this going to work? So let's see here. So auth service implementation, let's go to our login. Login with Twitch. Awesome. So login, blah, 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 blah. Um, Finish login. So we're going to get our access token from Twitch, do all that stuff, make sure that it actually is correct. Once we've verified everything is good with Twitch, we see if you're a brand new account. If you're a current brand new account, we make our account mappings. Otherwise, we. Alright, so enforce entitlements, yes, uh, create token. So the, create the token. And the token TTL is set to a certain amount of minutes. 
um, is what it looks like. So let's go see how many minutes we actually have for this TTL. This is services, config. Let's just look up prods off TTL. All right, so authentication, DB cache, timeout minutes. What we got for test? All right, so we got a 60-minute timeout on those tokens once you do the login. I think that's that's fine. So basically, if your connection gets dropped um, once every hour, you'd have to actually re-log in. Otherwise, it'll let you through, which is which is fine. Um, we could do a refresh token, refresh auth token call on our stuff, and then like heartbeat then every so often to um, get our logins working, but. Eh, I don't think it's necessary. All right, so what I should be able to do now is build this. We'll run against our local stuff, and um, I'll kill the server, and I shouldn't have to re-log in or something like that. So we'll see if that actually works. Because that'd be kind of cool. So let's hit our uh, local environment. Now we have fancy scroll bars, and I bet Adam will hate the fancy scroll bars. Be like, ah, these look so dumb. That'll be fine. That'll know I've succeeded in my goal in life, which is just to frustrate him. All right, well, we're only just changing how um, reconnect and relog and work. I mean, that's that's really not a big deal. That's not something that the entire framework of your entire online game depends on. You know, you just change that all the time. No problem. Shit. Uh, the good thing is I don't have to change anything on the actual server. It's all on the client to help it reconnect. So I am glad. And it's actually taking advantage of some of our systems. Like if somebody somehow sniffed your encryption key and then had like some exploit that would drop your connection so that they could take it or something, um, we'll get a new encryption key and it's already gone. So like if they were able to get the public key somehow from your initial message and then reverse engineer your secret key from that public key, I don't know. They're, they're, they're unique IDs, so I have no fucking clue. You can't even do that. Um, it wouldn't even matter if they were able to get that, because only one TCP connection can take it, and um, it's going to be that first one, because otherwise you'd have to do a full man-in-the-middle proxy. And even then, the connection's going to fail for that second guy. Yeah, you'd have to completely have my system fucked to be able to do any of this. So, that would be 
yeah, at that point, there's no way to have security. So... Who isn't? It's network test. Dash can network test. So we need virtual pool on reauthorization needed. Yeah, so even if they were able to do that, they'd have to already have a full man in the middle attack, and they'd have to have it compromised, and they'd have to have such complex flow control as to, you know, basically then do like a, a proxy encryption scheme um, for decrypting the data and then re-encrypting it with the old key, and they, if you ever dropped your connection to them. And then at that point, it's like, well, they have perfect information on how the security works for our connection. And they have full control over your entire network. That would mean the initial SSL handshake for your stuff would be compromised anyway. So you're trashed at that point on everything. Even your login with Twitch is screwed at that point. You know, like your computer is screwed. <laughs> Good luck. All right, so let's boot this guy up and uh, take a look. Okay, cool. So what we're going to want to do here is, is the output log exploding? What is going on here? Why can't we get to the output log? I loaded into a level. Whoops. I hit the wrong button. Yeah, I must have hit the wrong button. Yeah. All right. So what we want to do is, bam, the server's toast. Um, when we do the entire login flow again. Failed to identify connection after logging. Please try again. All right, so what was our initial failure? All right, so making on TCP client disconnection on platform disconnected. Okay, so why did we... Why 
when did this all happen? Where did we go wrong? Okay, so we're fully logged in. We should not have been able to start a game like that. Alright, so if we drop this, none of our shit got called? All right, let's put it up again and see what we're having problems with. Is it that we're reading our local configs or something and that's booting us up into a game? Must be. Alright, so if we nix this guy, we get this error cause, socket has closed. Okay, so on disconnect, host resolves everything, close scratch buffer, and callbacks error cause, socket is closed. Why do we have two? So this is like on error, which doesn't do anything. And the other one is on disconnect. Okay, so what we need to do is the TCP client needs to handle this a little bit more. Alright, so socket has closed. So while receive is false. So with the socket closed, um, what we need to do is see if we can reconnect. Um,
All right, so what we want to do is if our connection drops, we want to have some retries for it. All right, so let's see, M connection. Reconnects, reconnect attempts, and let's just do reconnect attempts. We'll set to zero. Alright, so if reconnect attempt is less than what, like, uh, max reconnect attempt, All right, so if the socket has closed, then what we want to do is we want to like reset our stub. So All right, we'll call reset connection. Which will throw all this stuff out there and set our error time. And that'll just set all that stuff up. Okay, so and this will be on receive data. And then I'll boot out here. It'll say like if we are in error. Well, we do want to set our error time. Okay, so we don't need this max reconnect attempts and all that stuff. Actually, yeah, we do. Okay, we do. Max reconnect attempts. So it's going to be two seconds times this. So that would be twenty seconds. Let's let's try twenty. Yeah, fifteen for thirty seconds of reconnect. All right. So. If we we're waiting encryption keys, we're not going to do anything. Okay, so what we want to do here is we need to see if this sort of thing is going to happen. So, all right, so if the if we enable security and redeem encryption keys, all right, so all right, so if M enable security. 
All right, if we have redeemed our encryption keys, and callback says null, then we're going to do error socket is closed. If we don't have enable security, then then just return. So it'll be reconnect attempts plus plus Awaiting encryption keys and everything else. All right, so info log connection has been dropped. Um, reconnect attempt number percent D. Let's see, we'll do info log here, info log. There are no callbacks. or reauthorization isn't supported. All right, so that's what we'll be doing. Awaiting reauthorization. Okay, so that's supposedly that'll handle this. Okay, so did we actually? Yeah, we haven't finished building. It's like I should not have cleared that output window. Alright, so receive data must return a value. Uh, false. Well, people are dumb.
I should double du double check that the scroll bar is actually working the damn game, shouldn't I? Yeah, probably. All right, so let's put this up. All right, let's kick back to a menu and kill the server. Um, what did it do? Connection has been dropped. Reconnect attempt number one. Starting service discovery. Waiting reauthorization on platform disconnect. What? Okay, so like the platform's not even there, so so it's just toast. Failure to connect. Yeah, okay. All right. So what I need is I need to first. Uh, I'd like to figure out why we're booting up another map here. So that'd be like our platform manager. If we have server config, we should also check if we're actually a dedicated server, I believe. All right, so let's go to our where is it? I think it's in game, game instance. Let's take a look at this. This is I think it's in our utils somewhere. Yeah, okay, it's is dedicated server in system utils. Yeah, okay.
All right, so what we're also going to want is Is it command line utils? Get bool arg? Yeah, get bool arg. All right, so it's going to be const f string u dash can global utils g uh, server start level override. I'll have to check these files out. Okay, so we'll do that and everything like that. All right, the other thing I want to do is I want to add a drop connection call or something like that to our TCP client so I can actually test this out without a whole bunch of bullshit. Let's see, how is this is Yeah, so we call startup with our TCP client. Um, use thread is false, so we're not making a new thread. So the platform here actually is is there like a tick method that we have? Uh yeah, we do TCP client tick. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to change the Dashkin platform to have like a debug drop connection call. So So let's do that. So what we're going to want to do with this is, is there like a, is there like a socket close? Yeah, it's right here. So we'll just do reset connection.
So I guess I'll have to make that public. So that'll just blow that crap away and um, do all that. So we want to go to our game utils. Static, void, debug, reset, platform connection. All right, so this will be call to debug reset our platform connection. Let's check it out. And then we'll go to our UI. Let's add a new debug button up here. Drop platform connection. And then let's go to our scripts. And we'll see how that builds. So this should help us test out this thing since dropping our connection and killing our server is kind of... Our other error handling cases are taking... <laughs> are handling it properly. Just be like, hey, the server... The backend server doesn't exist anymore. Nothing's answering. Like, you're screwed. Versus, oh, hey, it's just the TCP connection drop. And then even when the server boots up, it has to, like, verify that you can actually bind to a specific socket and, like, you're the only person logged in. So it's like, hey, you know, like, the server just went offline and um, we're going to need, like, 30 seconds to figure out what the hell's going on. So it basically says, like, no, you can't, you can't bind yet, so just hold off. Because this, the platform needs to, like, it can't guarantee anything at that point if, like, the servers are coming up and down so much so that even the master is toast. Alright, so get bull arg does not have, do we have a command line utils? I guess we need has arg first. Yeah, so we'll just do it like that.
So let's build this thing. Let's see what we got going. So, let's see. So let's put it up and we'll be able to click our little button. Let's make sure we didn't accidentally cause any errors in JavaScript. That ah, looks good. So we should be able to call drop TCP connection. Also, we should not be loading into the level anymore, which is a bug that I added. I did not mean to. So we'll go ahead and log in. And then let's uh, drop our connection. Let's see what happens. Drop connection. Connection, get connection info. Okay, so we told ourselves that there was an issue, but we're back bound and authenticated. All right, so making get connection info. Yeah, okay, so I want to see where we actually called on disconnect because we didn't want to call that. And it was on platform manager on disconnect. All right, so it's getting called from Yeah, but it it recovers. So we'd have like a flash that says like, "Hey, shit went wrong for a second there." Um But so this is Dashkin platform double checking in our game tech that like if something is wrong here, So what we want to do is we want to put in like some sort of is recovering state or something. Yeah, if it's like recoverable connection. So yeah, is connected, is handling connect flow. Let's see, bool can possibly reconnect. Wait, this is inside of the platform. All right, so we don't need to change this. Um, we need to go to our TCP client and is awaiting reauthorization. Um, I guess it can possibly connect. So it's like if m TCP client does not equal null and m TCP clients uh, can possibly connect equals false 
belts. Okay, it's a little bit more complicated than this. Um, it's basically we want to set our connection state to something else. So I guess we're going to say m connection state equals connected. So we kind of preserve our state right there. And we didn't have our login issues, so that's good. Creating TCP client, blah, blah, identify call, identify work, excellent. Alright. So we just gotta wait for yet another build. Why, oh God? Why most things work the way they do? So that'd be pretty cool if this actually works then. Um, the issue I've been having is if people drop their TCP connections to the back end, they've had to, they've suffered issues.